Good day, everybody. Welcome to Dialar's Playhouse. <laughs> uh, in this eternal deep dive video, we're going to be discussing, I would say arguably, but there is no argument. This is the best character in the game. It is none other than Leo. Now, Leo is a Vanguard tank, uh, but he's not only going to be doing your tanking, he's also going to be doing all, well, He's going to be doing a schwack of damage, too. This guy just does it all. He, this this character will catapult your account to uh, untold heights. As of right now, uh, January 2023, he is currently the best character in the game, just on impact alone. Just the, the impact that having him will do to your gameplay is bar none above everybody else so i highly 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 recommend you uh get leo if you're watching this video i'm assuming you do and you want to know how to optimally build them because there is still a lot of contention in the community about how to build this guy so i have seen still videos of people um advocating either uh, a health build or an attack build which is the correct build well you're gonna have to stay tuned to watch but there's still debates in the community but uh, I've been using this guy long enough, and I didn't. I wanted to hold off on this video because I really wanted to do a, a butt ton of actual gameplay testing. Um, so I have used him now in Twilight. I did get him up to Immortal for the uh, near the end of the last Twilight. I can probably push further the next one, but that's here nor there. So, and I've done enough testing with him in Arena and PVE, where I think that what I'm going to discuss with you guys is going to be the most optimal build for your Leo. So, uh, that being said, let's dive into the build video. Uh, stay tuned to the end after the build because we're going to go over uh, gameplay footage. Let's look at the king. Okay. Leo. First, we kind of have to discuss his kit because his kit is going to dictate everything. His, everything, his exclusive, his gear, his kit, it all synergizes together. Uh, they did a really good job putting this uh, beefcake together. So first, let's look at his ultimate, Storm. Uh, active effect, Leo spins his double blades or her swords and rushes towards the target area causing a 240% attack damage uh, or causing 240% of attack damage to enemies along the way for a total of three times. So it's an AOE AOE. <laughs> Leo cannot be affected by crowd control. So Daniel can't drop a bear on him to stun him. Uh, he can't be pulled away by like an Anaruda or a Bada. Uh, he's going to do what he's going to do. He's going to Cyclone of Death. Uh, passive effect, all damage caused by Leo cannot be critical strikes. So first off, right there, do not build this guy for crit rate or crit damage. Not that you were going to anyway. And the talent modifier, this skill has 35% life steal effect. That bit right there is very important. So keep that in mind. His ultimate, he's going to do a, um, a whirlwind AOE, can't be CC'd, and he's going to lifesteal during it, all right? So keep, just store that away, store that little one away. Now, Thunder, uh, his, uh, what do they call these? Uncommon skills? I think it's, that's what the, the, the term, or common skill. Leo sends out a roar to, to deter the enemy, so it's going to cause 310% uh, of attack damage. Uh, to nearby enemies and it increases the damage they take by five seconds uh, or by 10 percent for five seconds the modifier is going to buff that and it's going to be 15 percent extra damage for eight seconds so uh, a good skill right he's he's facilitating your team and he's also facilitating himself since he does so much damage raging wave this is his passive so Upon entering the battlefield, or so right at the beginning of the battle, Leo will permanently gain a basic attack boost of 1.5% of his maximum health. Keep th This is very important. So this is going to go directly to how to build him. And a lot of people, a lot of people will build him in full vigorous sets with HP 
specifically for that line. In battle, the lower proportion of Leo's current HP, the higher is attack. Attack increases by 1% for each 1% reduction in HP. Now keep in mind that's a percent. So that's no matter what his HP is, it does not matter if it's 1 million or 20 million. For every percentage point lost, not point, he gains a one percentage attack, right? So it's it's not it's not doesn't scale with HP. It's always percentage wise <laughs> on each end, attack and HP, uh, with an upper limit of thirty remaining HP. So meaning uh, he can go down seventy HP, up seventy attack. Now the talent modifier there is no upper limit to the effect of the increasing attack by reducing HP. So, even though, I think I think what this means, it says with an upper limit of 30%, obviously there is no upper limit of the effect of increasing attack by reason. So no limit, so it can go right down to, a, to, to 99%. Decrease to a 99% increase in attack. And then his uh, passive, his two passives, Leo's damage reduction is increased by 3%. That, not a big deal. That is not a big deal. When Leo receives lethal damage, he defies death. So it's a cheat life or cheat death. Not cheat life. That's stupid. All damage for the next... He, he won't take damage for the next three seconds, and this effect can only be triggered once. The talent modifier reads at the end of the damage immunity effect, so three seconds, Leo will recover 15% of his maximum HP at one time, right? So it should just say, they, don't, they didn't need to add that because he can only do this effect once. At the end of the damage immunity effect, Leo will recover 15% of his maximum HP, right? Easy. Now, and again, a lot of people will use that line and say, we have to build him for all HP because after his cheat death, we want him to get the most amount of health back since it says it is a percentage of his maximum HP. So that one is scaled based on his HP. But let's look at his, let's go directly to his exclusive now before we look at the gear. So you're pretty much mandated before you want to get the full effect out of your Leo. He has to be at um, exclusive 20. Pretty much he just has to be minimum, right? Uh, and the reason why is, uh, well, we'll get to that. So Mountain, which is his uh, cheat death passive, right? The duration of the damage immunity increases by two seconds. So he's going to have damage immunity for five seconds. Very important. Thunder, when the skill is released, adds, adds a shield equal to 5% of his max HP. So let's go back to what Thunder is. So Thunder is this one where it's the AoE... Uh, where he increases the amount of uh, damage that the enemy takes, right? By 15% for uh, 8 seconds. So when the skill is, is released, he also gives himself a shield equal to 5% of his max HP. So yes, this is where maybe there is some credence to building him with some HP, or more HP, I should say. But it's only 5%, and you're also gaining... If you're running him with uh, Gautier Commander, you're going to be gaining shields nonstop. If you're running him with two healers you're gonna, and Flashpoint, you're going to be gaining shields nonstop. It's not that big of a deal. Really, I think that that middle line for Thunder isn't... It's nice, and it is nice, especially paired with Pain Rune, but um, not a big deal otherwise. But this next one, which is his 20, right? When you get to exclusive 20. Uh, again, Mountain. Skill enhancement. So this is his cheat death. When death immunity effect is triggered, Leo immediately recovers 600 energy. Now, the reason why I said at the beginning of his exclusive was that you had to have it at 20 because you almost have to, if you want him to use him, he has to, when he hits his cheat death, he has to immediately do his ultimate. Uh, because he's going to give himself 15% HP, but then his ultimate is what's going to take him back up to a 100% HP. You get me? So, if you have him at legendary 0, uh, and you could only take him to exclusive 10, you're, you're, it, that's like 
buying a Porsche with a Honda motor. Or, I don't know, like a, a Prius motor. That's a better example. You're buying a Porsche with a Prius motor. Uh, yes, it's a Porsche, but it is not doing what a Porsche should do. So if you are planning to get this guy, really plan on not really getting... And he will get use out of him, but I mean at the high end as you progress later on in Twilight, in um, as soon as you get to end game, he's not going to be doing what you want him to do until he's exclusive 20. Now, his last... Uh, the ex the exclusive 30 unlock. Uh, when the death immunity effect is triggered, the damage, uh, the next damage from energy skills increased by 50%. This one is, it, it's, it's not needed. It's stupid. The only reason why you might want to take him to exclusive 30 and the reason why you should take him to exclusive 30 is because it increases his damage amplification and he's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to increase his damage reduction, which is he's a tank. He's going to be taking all the damage very much needed and it's also going to be greatly increasing his hp so his exclusive 30 is great but only for the stats that it provides not for the effect it triggers at 30. okay so we've gone over his his kit we've gone over his exclusive yes he transfers some a, a percentage uh, i think it's 1.5 percent of hp to attack yes he gets 15 percent of max hp when he cheats death but, and I was a holdout too, you want the the, per, the proper build to build this guy is as much attack as possible. His lifesteal is going to make up the difference that the HP provides as well. I'm going to say the cliche, the best defense is a good offense. The more damage he does, the more enemies not on the field, the less damage he's taking. And this guy puts out so much damage at Immortal. It, it's just the proper build. Um, I know Dan Heilman put out a video uh, uh, finalizing his build, saying that he gets the most traction for him. And, and Heilman's at Hyper Evolution. Uh, I have seen other people uh, advocate three vigorous sets for the HP. It's It works. It, it will work, but it is not optimal. Just keep that in mind. You guys can run. If you don't have uh, attack, attack, or attack, attack pieces, by all means, run vigorous attack pieces. I don't even recommend vigorous health. I don't recommend health primaries either. It's just, it, 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 I understand why you're doing it, but it's not the proper build. So, hands, head, and feet all attack primaries. You want all hero sets. And then in the secondaries, what you're looking for, if you can get it, is you want attack, HP, and damage reduction on all the substats. So let's see how I did. Here I got uh, attack and damage reduction. I got, you know, the two attack, moi. Would have been nice if that accuracy would have been an HP, but, you know, so be it. Here's one, attack one. HP plus one, damage reduction. Crit damage is useless because he can't crit. Here we go again. Attack plus one, HP plus one, damage reduction plus one, and defense. Mwah! Perfect. Never moving. That's it. That's his forever. And then this one, HP plus one, right? You know, I can do better. This one's got damage reduction and HP plus one and X attack because you can't get... An attack percentage substat if it's an attack percent primary. A lot of games are like that. You can't double dip, right? Uh, if this was an HP primary, percent primary, you can get an attack percent secondary, right? And then this one, HP plus two, two. This one's perfect because it's an attack percent primary, so I can't get it in the secondaries, but I got plus two to HP and plus one to damage reduction. This piece is perfect, and it's crit damage reduction, which is good in PvP. So, there's Leo. There's the build. This is how you want to build him. If you want to argue, let's put let's take it down to the comments. All right, now let's uh, let's do some highlights. So I am at story forty six. 
So the reason why I run this team is it's the Gautier. Um, I do have a Gautier with, uh, which I should probably be running this one. Um, it is better than this one right here. This one was, which one was I running? This one. This one I thought was nice because it gave attack to the back row and it gave plus 9% crit damage to assassins. Uh, but really, I've switched my Randall to all uh, basically HP build, like a tank build. So I'm actually going to switch to this one. Um, and then uh, with Leo, it, it's almost mandatory. You want to run him with Masrani. You want to run him with Pain Rune, Prism Amulet, and uh, Flowing Rune? Flashpoint. Flashpoint. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, Pain Rune, Flashpoint, you guys can get, uh, if you're a free to play, you're going to have some trouble with Prism Amulet, but as you progress, as you get, your account gets bigger, you're going to start getting copies of Prison Amulet out of Twilight. Uh, I do believe I was able to get one in Twilight in November. And then now this one, I got another one. So this, uh, Prism Amulet is, uh, plus one. So you, you, it, you must, must, must have Prism Amulet. If you don't, you're not gonna get as much out of them. Again, that Porsche analogy. You, you have to run Gautier, you have to run Pain Rune, and it is nice if you can run Masrani with Flashpoint, even though um, if, if you run Flashpoint and run Serena, she can still overheal and give that shield as well. So let's run through it. Um, and the, basically the reason why I'm running Randall in a tank set is because I just, just want him to uh, to just get the benefit of the pain rune and the stuns, uh, the Gautier pain rune combo. So look at the damage meter. We're just going to watch the damage meter and his health. He is at half health. Um, he is blowing Bailey out of the water. And as you see, he hasn't hit his cheat death yet. That life steal, like there he is. He's up to, what, 70% health. Um, he is full attack and he is getting more healing probably from his life steal than Masrani, and there it is. Look, there's the proof in the pudding right there, guys. This is the healing meter. Oh, wait. What? No, that's not the healing meter. This is the healing meter. Yeah, I think this is. I don't know what this one is. You guys tell me what this one is. Shields? I don't know. Whatever. I, I don't know what that is. Damage dealt. Damage received, maybe. Well, let's go back to the... Uh, 12.1, Daniel is also catching up to him because now there's not as many uh, characters and now Bailey is in behind. But you see Leo, let's see if Leo can hold that spot. Oh, Danny boy beat him, but <laughs> Leo is so close to being the number one damage dealer and he was never close to dying. And now let's also show you uh, arena so arena the guy i'm fourth right now and i've held fourth for a day and the guys in my arena are insane so like hyper evolution all hyper evolution not quite there but close he's close to hyper evolution and i am nowhere close to hyper evolution i'm i'm, I'm at level 220 like i'm way behind these those guys but let's refresh one here. And let's show you who Venom, 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 Venom. Um, he's got higher levels than me. Uh, he's at 229. I'm only, at, like I said, two, 221 on Crete and Leo, but uh, 219 because I'm stuck behind the Rubelite breakpoint. Let's, let's challenge him. So what his team is, is pretty much the same team as mine. So his Leo is stuck at 219 at that checkpoint he's got boda don't know how good his boda is he's running prism he's running pain but he's also running the uh the healing trinket right that horn but he does have a 232 bailey and a 227 maserani 229 crete so let's see how my team which is under his performs so his bailey is stuck at the back uh, our baileys are basically canceling each other out there goes my Leo. I don't, I can't tell if I've killed anybody of his. I think I have. I think I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I only see four. Still, yeah, he still got his Bailey up though. Bailey's stunned, his Bailey's stunned. So it can be a little bit of a crapshoot, a little RNG. 
Now my Bailey's stunned. And now he's uh, whirlwinding on my Bailey. Now my Bailey and my, my Serena are dead. So now it's just the Crete Bailey Leo show. On both sides of the fence. <laughs> His Leo is going after my Masrani. So my Crete's going after his Masrani. So it's 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 a bit, it's basically gonna come down to Leo on Leo Prime. I betcha. There's the cheat death. Okay, Crete, come on. Boom! Into the fray. Oh, he beat me. Oh no, look at that. His Leo's dead. 45 seconds left. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, maybe this was the Crete show. <laughs> but I beat him. So uh, there's an example of, uh, or a highlight of uh, Leo in PvP. He's, he's good. He's very, very, very good. He's very, you're going to need him at the top end. You, you really are. Uh, and I use this, this guy everywhere. Um, oh, I'm in 13th. Someone knocked me out of 10th. Who was it? Jake. Can't beat Jake. Jake's got a good team. Uh, but um, if I show you my teams, there's my Leo team. Basically, this is just keep Leo alive team. Let Leo do all the all the good stuff. Um, assassin team, summoner slash hunter team. We, we're de a weird defense. I'm, I'm testing it out. Uh, but uh, if we show you, um, don't want to go after Doom Shield. That guy's a freaking monster. I want to show you my attack. Let's see. So there's Bailey on Bailey with me with Leo. Uh, that's a summoner team versus a summoner team. And that is my crap team versus his Leo. So let's try this. So let's just show you, let's just show you my Leo team versus his Creek team. This is Leo Bailey versus Creek Bailey. V -v 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 -voom. And keep in mind, my Randall is tanky built. So Randall's just there to stun his team, keep his team locked down. I just proc that pain rune stun. Go, 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 go. And there we go. So there's Leo in group PvP. Not gonna finish this. Let's see. I think, yeah. Using that team combo I can I can kind of manipulate to, to stay in the top 10 I'm sure he's gonna hit me back though eventually he's gonna join Rev or he's just gonna go around me yeah nice avatar there or Karaz I think we can kind of wrap it up there um and I use the same kind of setup in um Summit Arena he is hands down probably the best uh for now uh, in January 2020, 2023, he is probably the best character uh, in the game, most versatile, most important for progression in PvP and PvE. And uh, hopefully this video leads you down the proper path to, to gearing this guy. Now, if you are not, you know, not X20, not Immortal, mess around with some, with some health gear, but just, just keep this video in the back of your head that that that's not right you you want to build this guy to kill stuff right he's, he's, he's that cheat death and his attack or what's going to keep him alive healers help but that that's gonna what you're gonna rely on and the best defense is the best offense so i'm gonna leave you guys right there i hope you enjoyed this one uh, put obviously lion in the comments if you made it to the end of this video i'm sorry that it was so long and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers. Peace. Bye-bye.